Understanding ETFs The basics of ETFs ETFs are one of the main types of exchange-traded product available in the market. In their basic form, they are open-ended securities which are traded on an exchange in a similar way to ordinary shares. The prices of ETFs change constantly during the trading day, as supply and demand fluctuates. ETFs are designed to track the performance of an underlying index, a commodity, or a basket of assets like an index fund. This means ETFs allow investors access to hard-to-reach assets, which they might otherwise not be able to buy, either easily or directly. ETF Characteristics There are several key characteristics which distinguish ETFs from mutual funds or index funds. First, with several thousand ETFs available, they cover every major index as well as various sectors of the equities markets, domestically and internationally. Secondly, ETFs are generally very transparent, with investors able to find real-time quotes for buying or selling them. Thirdly, ETFs offer advantages because of their passive management, low turnover and a unique redemption process. Fourthly, the pricing of an ETF is efficient because this closely tracks the price changes in its underlying securities. Also, there is a highly liquid market available for most ETFs. Finally, ETFs have low annual fees, given the passive nature of index investing, the lower need for marketing, and low distribution and accounting expenses. ETF Structures There are various investment techniques that ETFs can use. One approach uses physical securities. This involves the manager buying all securities in the same weight as the underlying index. Another approach involves the manager using a representative sampling, or what is known as an optimization process. To do this, the manager buys a portion of the securities within the index and then uses these to track its performance. A third common approach involves the provider using total return swaps. Doing this effectively gives investors the performance of the index, but not the physical securities it contains. ETF Market Players There are various players and institutions involved in the ETF market. The key ones include the ETF providers themselves, the stock exchanges which list the ETFs, the index providers, market makers, and custodial banks. There are three distinct stages to creating ETFs. First, the market maker buys a basket of shares, as specified by the ETF custodian, for cash. This basket of securities is then exchanged with the ETF custodian for a set number of ETF units or shares. Finally, the market maker then has an inventory of ETF shares through which it can meet the demand from the market for orders to buy or sell. Evolution of ETFs The desire to replicate a specific index to give the investors the equivalent performance to the market, but at a low cost, saw the creation and launch of the first ever ETF. The first ETFs were listed in the US in the early to mid-1990s. The ETF sector expanded to include commodities, futures and bonds. After they were launched in Europe around the year 2000 and then synthetic ETFs were created, the product came to Asia. Across Asia-Pacific, ETF assets have grown from 10.3 billion US dollars in 2001 to more than 90 billion US dollars at the end of 2011. From what we have learned about ETFs in this module, we can take away the following key points. ETFs are open-ended securities which get traded on an exchange in a similar way to ordinary shares but track the performance of the underlying. They offer investors the benefits of diversity, transparency, efficiency in terms of tax and pricing, liquidity, and low operating expenses. There are a variety of investment techniques which are used to ensure ETFs produce the desired outcome. Also, ETFs are flexible and straightforward to buy and sell. This means they enable investors to go long or short, and they can be part of either their core or satellite portfolios.